Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome to another installment of Vampire Load Hunting. Today's video is about old cordless power tools, but could apply to many rechargeable devices. While the specifics are fairly unique, at the end of the video I'll try to give some more general lessons learned. So this is my 10-year-old cordless screwdriver. About five years ago, the batteries got weak enough that I needed to leave the charger plugged in all the time. I looked into replacing the batteries, but that seemed like it would be a big job. Since, I still, since it still worked on the charger, the mantra, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, seemed to apply. As you can see, the driver won't run off the charger. But even if I plug it in, It takes some time before the charger can top off the batteries to allow it to actually drive a screw. You can see it's still not working, so I have to leave it plugged in. But what I forgot to consider was that the charger is pulling power all the time. In fact, you can see the power meter in the lower right corner down here showing five to six watts power. When I measured the power consumption with a meter and worked out the cost to leave the charger plugged in 24-7, I realized I could pay for a new driver in a few years of energy savings. So I picked up this new Black & Decker cordless lithium driver. Two things I noticed right away, the charger power consumption is only 3 watts, about half that of the NICAD charger. And unlike the NICAD charger, this lithium charger shuts off when the battery is fully charged. So now with a working cordless device, I can charge it off the solar powered inverter for even more energy savings. One downside I noticed is that this charger requires about 18 hours of AC power to charge the battery. That works out to 54 watt hours of AC energy and with the inverter efficiency that's perhaps 65 watt hours of DC energy. This screwdriver likely uses an 18650 type lithium cell, so probably has a 10 watt hour capacity, meaning that off AC I'm only getting 15% efficiency in charging. With this lithium battery, the charging electronics is built in to the driver itself, and the plug-in wall wart is just a simple 9 volt class 2 power supply. So, I could use a small DC buck converter off my 12 volt battery bank to produce 9 volts to charge this driver off DC power directly. So anyway, that wraps up another vampire load elimination. That's 6 watts and 53 kilowatt hours per year uh, that are gone. As promised in the beginning, here's a few lessons I learned. First. Older cordless devices can have inefficient chargers and if left plugged in all the time can use a lot of energy as a vampire load. And then second, NICAD chargers don't seem to turn off when the battery is fully charged. I think many NICAD chargers maintain a small float current on the battery and thus keep drawing power from the wall supply. A lithium charger typically shuts off once the battery is fully charged. So it takes a proper mindset to go after this sort of vampire load. Sometimes it is better to replace an older device to get a new, more efficient model. If you like this video, please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe below. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more vampire hunting.